CompTIA A Plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 5.3. Given a scenario, troubleshoot and diagnose problems with storage drives and RAID arrays. This video will cover troubleshooting issues related to storage and RAID arrays. For each of the common symptoms listed in the CompTIA A Plus Core 1 Exam Objective 5.3, I will provide some basic information and possible root causes. Additionally, as a pro test taking tip, you should always perform verifications, inspections, or checks before performing any repairs or component replacements. Storage drives and RAID arrays are integral components of modern computing systems responsible for storing and managing vast amounts of data. However, they are not immune to issues that can arise over time, leading to data loss, system instability, and performance degradation. Troubleshooting and diagnosing problems with storage drives and RAID arrays require a comprehensive understanding of common symptoms and their underlying causes. Kicking things off, we have LED status indicators that serve as a vital diagnostic tool for both storage drives and RAID arrays offering insights into their operational health. These indicators, often present on the exterior casing of the drives or the RAID controller, utilize different colors or blinking patterns to convey critical information to users and system administrators. A steady green light typically signifies normal operation, indicating that the drive or array is functioning as expected. However, deviations from this standard can alert users to potential issues. For instance, a flashing red LED might indicate a drive failure, prompting immediate action to replace the faulty disk and initiate data recovery procedures. Similarly, an amber or orange light might suggest a cautionary state. Furthermore, specific blinking patterns may denote ongoing data transfer activity, providing reassurance that the storage system is actively processing information. By interpreting these LED status indicators correctly, users can promptly identify and address potential problems, minimizing downtime and safeguarding data integrity within their storage infrastructure. Clicking sounds emanating from storage drives are often ominous indicators of imminent failure, typically attributed to malfunctioning read and write heads or damaged platters within a hard disk drive. These sounds, resembling repetitive clicks or ticks, signify mechanical distress and should prompt immediate attention from users or system administrators. In response to these audible warnings, swift action is imperative to mitigate risks of data loss and system instability. Urgent measures, such as backing up data and replacing the failing drive, are essential. By promptly addressing clicking sounds and initiating necessary remedial actions, Users can effectively safeguard their data and maintain the integrity of their storage infrastructure. Data loss or corruption represents a significant threat to the integrity and accessibility of stored data within computing systems. This perilous occurrence can manifest due to an array of factors such as a failed storage drive or corrupted file system. When confronted with such an issue, Users often resort to employing data recovery tools or seeking professional services to attempt the salvage of lost or corrupted data. These interventions aim to restore critical information and minimize the potential impact of data loss. However, prevention remains the cornerstone of effective data management. Regular backups serve as a formidable defense against data loss or corruption. Furthermore, Proactive measures such as running disk diagnostic utilities like the Check Disk Command on Windows systems or the File System Consistency Check on Mac OS can help identify and rectify underlying disk errors before they escalate into catastrophic data loss events. RAID or redundant array of independent disks are praised for their ability to provide both redundancy and improved performance in data storage systems. However, despite their advantages, RAID arrays are not immune to failures, which can manifest in various forms. Disk failures are perhaps the most common issue, where individual drives within the array malfunction, 
leading to the aforementioned data loss or corruption. When faced with a RAID failure, immediate action is necessary to mitigate potential data loss and restore system functionality. This often involves rebuilding the RAID array, which entails replacing failed drives with new ones and initiating a data reconstruction process to restore redundancy. Moreover, RAID failure can also result in degraded array states where performance is compromised and data access speeds are significantly reduced. Addressing these issues promptly through proper diagnosis, component replacement, and maintenance procedures is essential to restoring the reliability and performance of the RAID array and ensuring uninterrupted access to critical data. Self-monitoring, analysis, and reporting technology, otherwise referred to as smart, stands as a pivotal system embedded within modern storage drives, designed to continuously monitor their health status and anticipate potential failures before they occur. Unlike traditional disk checking utilities, such as the Check Disk Command on Windows systems or the File System Consistency Check on Mac OS, which primarily focus on file system integrity, Smart offers a proactive approach by monitoring various performance metrics related to drive health and performance. By analyzing these metrics, Smart can detect subtle signs of impending drive failure that may not be apparent during routine disk checks. When Smart detects anomalies or deviations from expected behavior that indicate a heightened risk of drive failure, it triggers a Smart failure warning. This warning serves as an urgent alert to users and system administrators, prompting them to take immediate action to safeguard data integrity and system stability. Typically, the recommended course of action in response to a smart failure warning is to perform an immediate backup of critical data and replace the affected drive with a new one to prevent potential data loss or system downtime. Extended read and write times on storage drives can indicate several underlying issues that impact system performance and functionality. These delays may stem from data fragmentation on hard disk drives, where data is scattered across the disk in small pieces, resulting in longer read times and reduced efficiency during read and write operations. Additionally, by ensuring there is enough storage space, Fragmentation can also be reduced as there is space on the drive with which to place continuous blocks of data, avoiding the need to break data into small pieces. To address these issues, proactive measures like disk defragmentation can be used. Defragmenting a drive involves reorganizing the data into continuous blocks. This reduces read times and improves overall performance. Similarly, we can measure a storage drive's read and write performance based on its IOPS metric. IOPS stands for input-output operations per second and is a performance metric that measures the number of read and write operations a storage device can handle in one second. Calculating IOPS involves two parts, the average size of each operation and the storage drive's transfer rate. The average operation size refers to the amount of data read from or written to the storage device in a single operation and is typically measured in bytes. The transfer rate represents the amount of data that can be read from or written to the storage device per second. Now to calculate IOPS, take the transfer rate and divide it by the average operation size. When drives are unexpectedly absent from the operating system, several factors may contribute to this inconvenience. One prevalent cause is disconnected cables, where physical connections between the storage device and the system become disrupted, impeding proper communication. Additionally, drive failure itself could be a factor, with a malfunctioning or failed drive no longer detected by the operating system due to hardware issues. Alongside these factors, the drive's initialization status is significant. Drive initialization is a process by which the drive is prepared for use by the operating system. It involves creating a partition table and formatting the drive with a file system. This step is crucial, especially for new drives or those previously used with different systems. Without proper initialization, 
The drive may not appear in the operating system's list of available drives. Lastly, if the drive that happens to be missing is the drive that contains the operating system files, you will likely encounter an error message that reads bootable device not found. Again, this could likely be a storage drive connection, where physical cables connecting the drive containing the OS has become loose or disconnected. Another possibility is drive failure, where the storage drive itself experiences malfunctions or damage, rendering it inaccessible for booting. Additionally, examining the BIOS settings, specifically the boot order, to verify that the correct boot device is selected can help rectify configuration-related issues. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.